familiarize yourself with the website. So this is the participant portal. So this, I hope that you frequent this site at least once a week, pwede. Kung pwede. So um, you can find opportunities here, but you will also know what's, what's new. You know, things that are, um, that the EU for research and the, the Directorate General for Research and Innovation is working on, it will be posted here. And one of the most important things that you want to use is this one. So they have a very active information and support portal. So it's not just a, it's not just a bot. There are actually people who will answer you. So of course, there's a, sometimes there's a bot, but um, there are real people <laughs> who will cater to you. So please, please use this, the information and support. Okay, so how to participate? So these are the steps to prepare your proposal and apply for research funding. So you have an online manual, which I really encourage you to read, because even I had to familiarize myself after you know, attending uh, several uh, programs as well. I still had to familiarize myself because they're a little bit babusise uh, when it comes to, pero uh, okay naman, kaya kaya naman. It's just, you know, you just have to familiarize yourself with that. And then um, there's a, there are reference documents. Uh, one of those is on the EU GDPR, which is the Data Privacy Act of, of the European uh, Union. And that's very important, super, super important. So one of, I don't know if you're familiar with, with, uh, with the EU GDPR, but one of the things that they have there is they have, they have um, a principle on the right to be forgotten, okay? So you can, I, like, I own my data, I give you my data. At any point in time when I say, I, I, I don't want my data to be there, that's my right. I have a right to be forgotten. So you have to be able to erase all of the data about me. So just one example, diba? So kung sa atin gusto nating uh, hindi makalimutan, sa EU, meron din sila dapat kalimutan mo ako. Okay, tapos na. Uh, move on. So, meron silang ganon. So, you, uh, there are uh, documents there that you have to be uh, to be mindful of. And also, there's a financial financial viability uh, self-check tool. It's just to check your, the health of your organization. It's not just helpful, I know that you're getting funds, but it's not just helpful for you to see if you can handle the grant, but also the general health financially of your organization. It's a good tool. For the for the for USA you have to do that as well. Diba? Meron nga silang trainings eh. They they conduct trainings before you're given a grant. They are, they are giving you financial literacy trainings. It's the same, it's the same thing. And also um, there is a special site for small medium enterprises. So the grants are not just limited, as I said, to you know to, to us, but also for those um, who are SMEs, so they have their site as well. Okay, first exercise, find a call. So you, you to find a call, you just go to one that says find a call. So madali lang, diba? But you would be surprised at how, how, how many times I had to repeat this. Kasi minsan, ma, mahina yung net, so di ma-find yung call. So, yun, so you have to have, of course that goes without saying you have to have fast internet or at least an acceptable internet to be able to find a call. So, dito yung, sa, you know, uh, if you are in the portal, there is an age 2020. There are other funds here, but for the for the sake of this exercise, you have a Horizon 2020. There is a funding opportunity. All of these things will come out, and you can choose, for example, Maris Kurovska Kuri Actions. So lalabas yan Maris Kurovska Kuri Research and Innovation Stack Exchange. So yani lalabas. How many of you were able to find it? Ayo. Oh, so, sige, mamaya na lang. <laughs> Kaya mo na kayo. Kakaya na. Kakaya kasi. Okay. <laughs> so, in this site, on the Marie Curie, if you click Marie Curie, you can check calls with open topics. Tapos, uh, may lalabas kung ano yung open. So, pwede din, if you want to familiarize how you can do it, you know, or how it was before, you can check the ones with closed topics. It was very helpful for me to see how it how it was before. Meron yung ganon. 
Yes, meron din, if you want to plan out, if you are doing your research agenda for the next, I don't know, eight years, so you can look at the forthcoming topics that you can prepare for. All right, so there is usually a, uh, all these information, so you can just click, no? Pinalaki ko lang. Forthcoming, open, closed. So you can just, uh, you can sort it through the opening date, the deadline, the topic title, or the topic identifier. So madali lang. So second exercise, find partners. So you, so for many of us, kulang tayo sa partners, no? Sa European, okay na, great, thank you. Sa European Commission, uh, sa European Union, uh, kulang tayo ng partners. So we can actually do that. So, but um, it's very important to try to see your low-lying fruits. Baka meron na kayong existing contacts. So, of course, it's, uh, it's the most effective kasi contact mo na eh, di ba? Uh, it's most reliable and predictable because you've worked together previously or you know the person already. Um, pero, sabi nila, hindi na suitable for a planned project kasi baka naman yung complementarity. No? So, pwede, pero you can still, I, I would still suggest na you try with the existing contacts. But, with the new contacts, it probably could be more risky. Tapos, uh, medyo mas, mas, mas mahirap siya. But, it would be easier to find those that will complement your project. Kasi pwede mong pilihin eh, talaga. Okay, minsan kasi, if we try to get those that are already our contacts, minsan, minsan lang, Kahit na hindi sila fit sa program, kilala na natin, so ipapasok natin sila. So that's their, that's, that's our, our risk. Okay, that's like parang akon, pagkilala mo na. Pag ipapasok mo lang, para lang, ano, para lang mag-fit, di ba? Uh, with the another one, hindi mo kilala, um, you can find more suitable partners. Okay, you, you can, you can make pili, kung parang ganun. Okay, so how to participate, there's a, if you click how to participate, this will come out, and you can just uh, click on partner search. Kasi ito yung lalabas. So it's pretty straightforward. No, very very friendly. So you can put a keyword, a topic, or if meron na talaga kayong organization na hahanapin, tapos you want to find out if this organization has a an existing grant, you can already put that in. So that's very easy. Ah, uh, yeah, and that that's the site, okay? So if you want to take a screenshot of that, that's the site. All right, okay. In finding your partners, um, it's very important to use your existing networks. So this is a network, PASCN, uh, PIDS. So they've had, uh, the, the director has already said that she, that, that, that there's one, an institution who approached her. So yung mga may mga ganun na meron na nag-approach sa kanila. So it's always good um, to use your own um, existing network. So um, this is the site again. Also, we actually have here one institution represented na nakakuha na ng Horizon 2020. At sila yun, Imam. Atineo. Yung Crisea na pinakita ko kanina, she's one, she's one of those, di ba ma'am? One of those uh, researchers na kasama sa Crisea. Crisea, ba Crisea? Yeah, Crisea. Oh, as you wish. So if you have programs, you want to ask questions. See, ma'am just joined the just joined the consortium, right? Uh, sa sa Crisea, or you've been there for a long time? It's a new project. Ah, it's a new project that yeah, you came. Okay, uh, no, I mean your involvement. Yeah, involvement. Oh, kapapasok mo lang, di ba? Ah, yes. So, multidisciplinary sila. Okay. Tapos, as I said a while ago, they meron silang toka na work package. So, it depends what work package is given to you. So, Atinea has, has specific work packages. And in your case, you're in charge of what? Migration? Uh, uh, the lead is practically the, the lead to the lead. Yes, of course, yeah. But we're actually yeah. a researcher, team researcher. Okay. So, they are, uh, they are part uh, of different work packages. So, as I said, the approach of the EU is really on the work package. So in this case, the head investigator is Dr. Cornelio. Uh, I call him Liage. Liage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so Liage, we were in Ayala Young Leaders together, that's what I know him. 
So he, and and so he's the uh, lead investigator, but religion. yeah, of their religion. But there is there's there are other work packages that that, that um, other faculty are also a part of. So yon. So if you know, uh, if you, so later during your lunch break, maybe you wanna talk to Ateneo here represented and see what they they come, came up with with this one. So better I know I include that. Yes, religion. Yeah, it was a religion. Yes, yes, it is. It is. So, Sister Dan, you can ask me. Okay. Also, uh, of course, we have to read scientific publications in your field, and then find out. Because the mga, especially the mga dumalabas, no, uh, the EU is very good at journals, like, like submitting to journals. So, if you look at when they publish, nandun yung emails eh, usually. So, uh, as a very easy way, uh, just a point of entry, is to write to them. So if you read a, pub, a publication, or read a journal, write to them and ask if they're working on uh, on a proposal or if um, if they need partners. So talagang nilalagay nila. Tayo hindi tayo masyadong naglalagay ng email eh. Pero sila nilalagay nila talaga. So that that was that's one of the easiest ways that you can contact them. So before you, you know, before you send in your proposal, uh, you can tell them that you would like to be, you're thinking of becoming a part of it. Yeah. So, read your, don't forget your scientific publications. All right. Also, be in the right place. Yeah. So, my mga uh, networking event kami. Mela was there. Who else was with you? Phil and Mark. Oh, tatlo. Three from this room oh, yeah, came. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, nga, di ba? Dapat. Next time. Oh, yun. So there are networking events. We try as much as we can. The alliance, uh, we, we've done two, one in Cebu and one in Manila. So um, kids was was able to attend the Manila one. The Cebu one for me was was also good because the, the director general of research and innovation really came together with the policy officer. So we were really able to, to talk to them. But um, having said that, there are networking events with the EU. Please talk to them about the Horizon 2020. Many of them will not know about it so much because it's the DG. Uh, pero at least pwede sabihin na, is there a university that you know is looking for partners, Kenyan? Or is there a person that we can talk to? Or mga lang. So it's very good. Networking is always good in any case. Um, there are brokerage events. We don't have that so much in the in the, in the the Philippines. But maybe Atene would think about being a be the knowledge broker. Maybe, no. Pag nag-extend kayo mabi, sabi nila PASM. Also, information days. That's exactly what we did. Um, we are going to have another information day next year, but this is specific to Marikiri. So I think sometime, we're thinking sometime in April. So we, we, we will let um, PINS know, PASCN know, once we do this. So this is specific to the Marikiri Individual Fellowships the innovative training networks and the rice. So we will we will have that, and uh, I'm trying to get um, those who have also gotten it, but from from the ASEAN countries to come. Okay, so we will let you know. So usually there are the European Commission does that, the national contact points does that, and of course uh, the alumni networks um, also do that. Okay, so um, please watch out for that and please attend. Okay, exercise three. Now we create our account. So, in the account, so you have all of these things. When you are a registered uh, user, of course, you can already submit your proposal. You can sign the grant right then and there. You can manage your project throughout its life cycle. And then, you can register as an expert. It's actually very good to register as an expert, even if you don't have a proposal yet, because the EU actually pays. <laughs> For you to be an expert, so for example, um, you have a you have a specific expertise in microbiology, and you may need somebody. Then you actually use this site. So uh, some of my friends they get um, consulting gigs through this site if you register yourself as, as an expert. So I would I would encourage you right now, even if you know you don't have a proposal yet, and especially for those who already have proposals, please put your profile here. So the EU login is. Um, Okay, the one person, one uh, one email. Okay, uh, Cinema had that problem. We have a dance, which is the counterpart of of the, the EU, EU 
for the EU, it's beer. For the for the uh, for the US, it's guns. We have six guns numbers as an institution. Tapos we don't know the password to any of it. <laughs> so, because it changed our administration, is so it's, it's a new administration. I'm very new. I'm barely three months. The president is also very new. So, ang hirap it change. So, <laughs> so it's a lesson for us to make sure that there is, you know, that <laughs> you are, you can have an access and as much as possible. Pag institution isa lang, unless malaki yung institution nyo, like Ateneo, baka per per department. But just make sure that you know the access to what. And before you leave, you, you know, you tell naman before you leave na ito yung password para ma magamit ulit, di ba? But in your case, as an individual researcher, of course, you, you can, you are free to do your own. And it's free, of course. It's free and easy. Oh, yeah. So, it's very, very basic. First name, last name, email, email address. So, it, this is the site again. If you miss the site, this is the site again. Oh, so kaya niya yan. <laughs> yeah, but my confirmation email lang. Minsan may takatagalan. Kasi kasalanan din natin yun, hindi na ng internet natin. So, yung processing din medyo mahina. So, uh, but it will it will come. Okay, there's within 90 minutes you will receive a um, a confirmation af, uh, after the original request. And of course, you can set your password and uh, ask through the EU GDPR rules. Your login credentials are, of course, confidential. All right. Now, how do you register your organization, Abai? So here, in the how to participate, you can click beneficiary register. Tapos dito yung register organization. Okay, iba to sa individual researcher. Okay, so I'm encouraging you to first um, register as an individual researcher, and then. If you have clearance from your institutions, you can register in the organization. But I think it's always good that you are there as an individual researcher. All right? Tapos, ito. Ito na yung sinatawag natin na, ano, di ba, na CAPTCHA? So, yun. Meron din ganyan na CAPTCHA. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's always good to check if you're already registered, if your organization is already registered. It could be. Okay? And then, um, and then that's it. That's to click whether uh, you're registered or not. And how do you submit a proposal? So, madaling madali lang. Ito lang yan siya. So, uh, just please read the call documents. First of all, you read Annex A because it shows you if kasama ba kayo. Like, if, if Philippines is, is a part of the work program. Kasi kung hindi, syempre, hindi nila tanggapin yung proposal niyo. Okay? Also, there is... Um, there are eligibility and admissibility conditions. You can you can read that everything is is there. There are also ito, ito, you have to be careful of the page limits and the layout. They actually follow it to the T. Tapos maraming mga ano evaluators. Uh, one of my friends uh, is an evaluator. Tapos siya strict talaga siya doon. So kahit one word more wala na, ayaw na niya. So may mga ganon, may mga evaluators na ganon. And it's also very important to note that those who do the evaluation, they're not experts of the field they are in, most of them, they're not experts. So you have to write in a way that a lay person can understand it. Okay, kasi kung masyado kang deep, baka hindi na magets. So yung sa ibang evaluators, ay, hirap na, so he, he dismiss. So make sure that it's simple. You're able to explain what you want to do, of course, with the uh, with the complexities of your topic, but don't make it too complicated na hindi na siya maintindihan sa mga tao na outside of that discipline. Okay? That's very important to know. Um, and there's an evaluation criteria that you can look. There is a scoring, and I will, I will show in the next slides the scoring for specific to the Marie Curie. Pero meron silang, uh, there is a general annex, and I encourage you to, to, to look at that. Kasi may weighting siya. There's a weighted average on, on on things, okay? Um, yes, and it's not a lot. It's only 30 pages. And I noticed that it's, this is very difficult for us Filipinos. Because intro pa lang, ano na, 10 pages na. <laughs> Di ba? Sa atin, dami sinasabi eh. May mga ano pa nga. We actually receive like Marie Curie um, applications that says in the beginning, I was born in a tiny barrio. <laughs> yeah, 
Mahilig tayo sa maalaala mo kaya. Yan, diba? So, please take note that there are 30 pages lang. It's very... So, you have to be concise. You have to be direct. But at the same time, you have to, to have everything there. So, that's, that's enough for your proposal. So, pero excluding the annex naman, pwede naman kayong magbongga-bongga annex. Pero basta yung, yung main nyo, 30 lang talaga. Tapos, mahala na kayo sa annex. Okay? But make sure that it's really tight. Okay, um, there is um, more, more or less, the maximum uh, five months from the, from the deadline of the submission, yun yung time na hihintayin nyo, so that uh, it, it, then you find out if you got it or not, more, more or less, five months, maximum five months, okay? Um, and then you have to sign the grant agreement in, in eight, eight months after. So madali lang siya, parang mga one year lang na hintay, mga ganun lang. So, parang engagement lang. Diba? Engagement. <laughs> Mga ganun lang. Alright. The proposal submission is very easy. So, the type of action is here. It just start submission. Diba? Tapos pag um, mahirap talaga, meron naman IT guidance. Okay? So, they make it really, really easy for you uh, to submit. Okay? And of course, you have the online manual that, of course, by this time, you should have read already. Um, there are evaluation panels, and you could be a part of the evaluation panel, actually. Um, that's why I'm encouraging you to list yourself uh, in the expert list. So there's an evaluation panel for chemistry, uh, social sciences, humanities, economic sciences, information science and engineering, environment and geosciences, life sciences, mathematics, and physics. So you know, pero as I said, um, Ano kasi siya, multidisciplinary, so it could be that there, there are people in the panel who's not an expert in the work that you're doing. That's why you have to be clear enough for them to understand it. And this is the evaluation criteria for RICE, at least for RICE, I can show you the RICE one. So excellence is 50%, and that is basically on the quality and credibility of the research innovation project. So it should be new, you know, they, they like the, something that is new, that is, um, that it is multidisciplinary, is also very important to show the gender aspects of your proposal. The European Union is very, very keen uh, on gender equality and gender equity in research. So you have to, to, to note that as well. Um, also, quality and appropriateness of knowledge sharing. So there has to be equity as well with the sharing in the research process among the partners. And of course, the quality of the proposed uh, interaction between the participating organizations. So that's 50%. Malaki talaga siya, no? When it comes to excellence. Siyempre, ba excellence nga So 50%. Now, impact, this, is, uh, this has to do with enhancing the potential and future career perspectives of the staff members. So how pag naka, nakatapos na siya ng rise, ano yung effect sa career niya? Okay. Next, um, developing new and lasting research collaborations, achieving transfer of knowledge, that's also part of impact. Um, it's very important that you show how you disseminate. In some cases, there's a, there, there is a specific work package just for dissemination. Depends on your partner, but for us, for example, uh, evolution, uh, the, the, the part uh, that I had with uh, ERSIS was on dissemination. And we, we, we were told we won the grant because of the strong dissemination component. So it could be like a separate uh, work package, depending on what you decide. And then, um, yeah, also how to communicate it. So this dissemination process could also be a focus group discussion, a conference, ganyan, or it could be like a, with a, uh, a thousand, uh, policy, uh, you know, you invite all policy makers. So in aid of policy, parang ganun na, the work that could be that's under impact and then 20 percent of the weight is on quality and efficiency of implementation so it's very important that in everything each node is connected so there has to be coherence uh, in the work and also that um, you can show the task the task of uh, and resources that are that are allocated the management structure and procedures also, the institutional environment. So, kaya, kaya ba? Uh, like, if you say, I will do it in Vienna. Why Vienna? 
Kasi ang Vienna merong, ano, Hofburg. <laughs> merong opera, si music. Oh, sige, pwede. Pwede kasi they have the best opera, uh, they have a lot of opera houses. Or you could do like a work on, you know, as I, as I mentioned a while ago, from waste to beauty, pipiliin mo yung Vienna because they have, one, they have what, 300 plus coffee houses and that is excluding Starbucks. So they, they don't like Starbucks, only the foreigners go to Starbucks now. So they have 300 plus coffee houses. So if you wanna do a work on coffee, you can say that. I mean, we're, we're sending our staff to Vienna because uh, Vienna is the, is the place for, for coffee, the enjoyment of coffee, right? So it could be that, so it has to be clear. Also, it has to be clear your, the infrastructure. So, minsan ba, you have to, shouldn't forget, malaki yung university, sino ba yung point person doon? So, kunyari, from here and University of Vienna, aling, uh, aling ba na department? Sino yung contact person? Saan siya papasok? So, if it's going to be like research on um, political science, should it be political science department? Should it be history? Sino yun doon? So it has to be clear. Also, uh, competences, experience, and complementarity of the participating organizations and their commitment to the project. So it's not just a matter of like identifying, like if my project is in the Philippines, I, I, I will get na lang whoever. Siyempre kukunin nila yung network na PAS na dyan. <laughs> Kasi ano, di ba? So there has to be that. You have to show that it's a credible partner and the partner actually has the capacity, so the absorption capacity of the organization is very important to show, okay, and to prove. So that's 20%, okay? So yeah, 100% the yeah, that's the evaluation criteria. The proposal structure is usually this. Section one is on general information, that's including the abstract. Section two is information on participants. Section three is budget and secondment tables. And section four, is the ethics table. So the research agenda, the eth uh, ethics in research is very, very strong. Okay, and you have to show that as well. So if you are going to use, um, uh, I don't know, uh, if you are going to test, you have to show that you're not testing and it's not, it's not going to be hazardous to the, to the community as well. That's very important for them. So, yan, ito yun ha. Para malinaw. <laughs> Summary, excellence part, the impact part, and the implementation, 30 pages limit. Okay? Pero, pwede naman kayong mamamayagpat dito. Kasi stop page count na eh. So, yan, bahala kayo dyan, references. Capacities of the participating organization, the ethics as aspects, and the letters of commitment. You can have more pages. But this part has to be 30 pages. Okay? So, if you have like 30... <laughs> Point one, wala na talaga. Meron talaga doon na ayaw nila talaga. I mean, the, it's incredible because it's one word more. <laughs> Tapos wala na, hindi. Ayaw namin kasi 30 nga eh. Basta 30 is 30, okay? Okay, uh, baka hindi na natin ito magawa. Kasi 11.30 na. Alright, I will take questions now, please. 11.30, pero ba? Hanggang anong oras na? Okay. Yay! Questions? Yes. I, I do I do research on political economics, social oh. choice. Um, this would typically be the SRE and Kinney. Do you have um is there a comment for that? I yes, 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 yes. It seems like it's more the hard science and if you've done no no no. Actually that's uh no. Mas ano kasi it's there are more um researchers that that have networks when it comes to natural sciences. I, at least in the Philippines, mas marami sila eh. But actually there's, like I must, I'm, I'm, I'm in the social sciences, for example. So uh, when it comes to that, you can do the Marie Curie. I, if, if you've done already like research, I would suggest that you do an individual research. So, ano, uh, Marie Curie IF, individual fellowship. Yeah, you, there's also a site that you can look at it's called Euraxis ASEAN. E U E U R A X E S S ASEAN A S E A N. Yeah. So Euraxis ASEAN is another site where you can look for um, you can you can look at Marie Curie there 
but you can also look at other uh, places where they're looking for uh, for researchers like you. So you can I, you can limit it. Uh, you can actually um, have your your you can put social sciences. To, it will come out. Right now there are a lot, actually. Yeah. So there are a lot. So remember that site as well because that is already a curated site of um, uh, opportunities for research individual researchers um, uh, coming from Euro European institutions that are, that are looking for people like you. So that's another site that you can look at, you can access ASEAN. Okay? Yes, please. Usually there's no, unless uh, there's no um, counterpart, unless it's a specific, but it's very, it's very, ano, sana makita ko yung ano, no? I-send mo na lang kaya yung uh, sample. Yeah, I'll, I'll send a sample and you can look at it, but most of the time, most of the time wala na, wala na mga counterpart masyado. Baka, ano, and it's easy to cost out, diba? In case talaga, it's, uh, it's because it depends also in your, uh, your European partner. So if your European partner says, well, you have to show a little bit that, you know, na meron kayong cost out. Madali naman yun for the work that we do, like, uh, kunyari, the, the support that the institution does, pwede mo yung cost out. Eh. So madali na lang yun. Or the facilities that you use, kunyari, in preparation of. So if there is really a need for that, I think you, you can you can manage through it. But usually, it's it's the money coming here. <laughs> for pang institutions, ah, the money is coming here. Okay? But, um, there are some that are very, very specific, but I don't think it's really a problem. Because the idea talaga of, of the Horizon 2020 is to, to provide funds that you can use so that you are able to be a part of the research. Other questions? Yes, yes. Based on the declaration of Helsinki, number two uh, would be uh, on health, uh, science, and industry. What are the examples of these pharma companies or industries in Europe that are ah, okay. similar okay. Uh, participants? Okay. Yeah. On the on the first question, oh, oh Helsinki. Pero meron din silang pinapalo na. Uh, I think the idea is that you, you should have the research in ethics in place. So they, they put like the, the gender aspects in and then if you're going to use um, or like with that animals or, or if you're going to test on humans or something, meron sila nakaset na eh. So madali siyang, it's actually easy to, to, to fill it up. Kasi naka, nakaset na naman siya. On your second question, there are a lot that are open for these things because um, the companies in, in, in Europe, like Novartis, uh, for example, AstraZeneca and all that, they know of Horizon 2020 and they're encouraged to actually have people. There are a lot of um, scientists who are now in, in pharma, in big pharma, uh, because because of the Horizon 2020 grant. And it's good for them because they don't need to spend for, for the person. Usually though, afterwards they're invited to stay but for the time that they are doing their secondment, it's the European Union that's paying for them. So it's good, it's good for them. Yes. We have Chad, by the way, guys. He was just telling me there are a lot of opportunities, diba, right? Akustar? Uh, follow up on the ethics part. Yeah. Do we need an approval already from the ethics review board if we submit the proposal? Ah, yeah, yeah. You mean in the institution? Yes. Yeah, I would suggest yes. For sure. So it has to pass through a, a FREB accredited yes. uh, REC. And the second yeah. is, how about the intellectual property? Yeah. Do we have issues on that? Yes. There are specific rules. Like if you look at the work documents, they, they, ex they explain that. We don't have time to, to discuss it, I guess. But the, it, definitely there is a, there are specific, very, very stringent, I would say, rules on intellectual property. Much more than, 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 than ours. Even like when it comes to photos and stuff like that, like um, the extraction of, of, of even plants and something like that, they're very specific. So uh, when it comes to, for example, the research output would generate a patent for industry, how will, are there conditions on, will it be owned by the, the uh, 
That depends on your partnership. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, we're also developing grants with British Council. So in our uh, OAA, our operations agreement, it's Philippines will have to bring the money in. So yeah. for Horizon 22, government will not shell out money? No, no, no. Yeah, because this is a partnership between uh, the institutions, eh? the, the, the EU institutions and the Philippine institutions. So the European Commission is providing the funds. There are some very specific ones, but you sh but the idea is really to provide research funds. So, hindi tayo out. Okay, there, there are bilateral agreements where you have to, but you know idea is, the idea is that you have funds used or that you are able to go to Europe so that you can pursue your research and use the resources of Europe, including financing. Like going there and living there, whatever. Okay, before I forget, because um, I'm encouraging you to do the Marie Curie, <laughs> selfish reason. Um, the Marie Curie grant, um, because one of the problems is always that you know you have families, right? So. Uh, that's one of the things that they, they, they don't want to go, they don't, people don't want to go because they have families. The great thing about the Marie Curie grant is, first of all, you get a full salary. So, um, uh, and this is really like a, a really good salary. Uh, second of all, you get, apart from your full salary, uh, you get a um, mobility grant. The mobility grant is, during my time, it's like, it's like 500 euros a month on top of the salary. And this is for like going, you know, around, and if you don't use it, then, you know, save mo na lang. <laughs> save mo na lang, ayaw mo lumabas. Oh, but you get it every month, okay? And this is apart from your transportation allowance that brings you there. So you have a transportation allowance that brings you there and brings you back, but you, the mobility allowance is separate. But wait, there's more. So if you have a child, or if you are uh, going with your partner, you have a uh, an allowance for the, your partner and your child. Okay, I think it's up to your second child, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, kasi hindi naman pwede pag dosi dosi yung anak mo, hindi mo pwede madala lahat, di ba? So, hanggang two. Wala. 21 yata yung ano, 21 yung limit. Parang, after that, you're like, you're on your own. Parang hindi na yan child, okay? Like, get out of the house. Although I know right now you're 30, over 30 years still living with your parents. But <laughs> my, 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 my limit, that one, my age limit, okay? But you can bring your, um, you can bring your uh, husband, you can bear your, your child. There is, a, there is an additional money for you so that your child uh, and your, your spouse, uh, you know, will not be a burden <laughs> to you financially. Because if I added food, a mouth to feed, it's not a burden. Yun. Very nice here. So the idea is really to have this, you know, this. they're very good at work-life balance. So they want you to, to be able to do your research without thinking of like, you know, all these things that are you know, your families at home, your, your husband's at home, and then. Tapos, for those of you naman who are not part of the binary, so um, uh, if you have a partner and you can, uh, you're not married, but you have a partner, so you can also bring your partner with you. So the the EU is very good with the, you know when it comes to um, inclusion. So LGBTQ uh, partnerships. If you can establish the partnership, you can bring as well your partner. Okay. So um, that's very important because I have a lot of friends. Um, they are in committed relationships, but they don't they don't fit the binary. So So. It's, it's a no, they're, they're very inclusive in that way. Okay, but wait, there's more. There's also a research cost. So cost uh, for research, um, you could arrange that as well. Na pwede ka mag, kanyari, magagamit mo, ganyan. But that's uh, depending on your agreement with your host. But all the rest, kasama yun. Dati, dati, pero kinuha na daw nila yun lately. We used to have a career reintegration grant. But kinuha na nila ngayon. I don't know kung ibabalik nila. Uh, but in any case, um, once you're there, you have to be careful, no? Like, pag, pag it's nearing your end. <laughs> but say, you know, you, you get used to having the salary all the time. Because remember that you have to reintegrate. So that's something that maybe you can arrange with your institutions. That maybe there is a, I don't know, a career reintegration program. 
So that hindi ka naman masyak pagbalik mo, mas babalik ka ulit si peso. Mahirap yun. So di ba? <laughs> Pag-ihuro ka ng dalawang two years, biglang, ay peso, hindi ka na afford. So it's very, it's very important really. Di ba? Okay? So, but um, that, that, I, I hope you realize that, you know, that your family could also be a part of this journey. That, um, th that um, they don't need to, you know, that they, they could also discover um, the world with you. So that's the idea. So please consider it as well. Any other questions? Yes, please. I come from, uh, I come from a higher educa education institution. It is not a member of this PSCN. Ah. So can you say here? Yeah, although I am, I am here in my capacity as a PhD student. Ah, uh, same university. Okay. But eventually, when I graduate, <laughs> I will be coming home. Is the so membership actually, really necessary? Really necessary for the what? To, is it what is the necessary? The PSCN membership. Ah, no, hindi naman. Oh, oh. Pili mention ko lang kasi. Pili mention ko lang kasi mas stronger kung. Sorry, ah, maybe I'm confusing people. There is a Horizon 2020, and that is for institutions. And these are grants for institutions, and there is the Marie Curie. That is for individual fellowship. Sorry, I mean, there's kula kasi it's an opportunity eh, for me to talk about the institutional grants, which I am hoping that it is through DASCN, but there is also individual grants. It doesn't matter where you come from, you can apply on your own. Thank you. Uh, recently, I, uh, I denied uh, this scholar who doesn't want to return to the country because they want the return service to be forgot. Uh, forgot. Ah. So I wrote a recommendation that you, you have to go back. So, may tali ba dyan? Wala. So, pwede hindi bumalik? Pwede hindi bumalik. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> sorry, but the, 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 I'm talking about the Marie Curie, huh? and this is the reason why I didn't apply for Chevney, <laughs> because there's a tali. <laughs> sorry. But, because you, you want, I mean, I, 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 I'm speaking for myself, like, I wanted to experience a bit more, you know, and, and I stayed there. But depending on sa'yo, mag-sign na lang ng ano, institutional agreement para bumalik. Kasi naman, I'm oh. from Chevy. Yes, of course. I'm also, I'm also a balik scientist. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, and I'm very particular about people serving the country. Yes. And, uh, putting a cap on the brain drain. Yes, yes. So, uh, every time I be, we engage with some foreign partners, I really push the idea of uh, coming up with uh, some provisions. Oh. Yeah. Baka ano, baka... Baka pwede, baka pwede yung bago nyo payagan na umalis, <laughs> pasayin nyo muna na, okay, I will. <laughs> Mag, pa, madali lang for government eh, if you are part of a, a state university kasi you really have to sign it. But with a private, I, I, I don't know, as far as I know, and please correct me if I'm wrong, there's nothing that really stops you. Okay, so especially if you applied on your own merit, if you applied for in, in, an individual fellowship, that's your proposal, you did it on your own. You got the funding. So if you don't want to come back, I don't know. <laughs> so, but uh, so far there's no, wala siyang, ano, wala siyang requirement to, to come back. We are hoping though that you come back, of course. Siya, I, I, like in the case, like I've, I came back. It took me 10 years, but I did come back. <laughs> From Japan, bumalik naman from Japan, di ba? But yeah, it's a, it's a it's a it's a journey, di ba? Okay, so we're hoping that we will find our way home. But um, we are getting more naman from from there. Tapos while we are there, I guess we could also encourage na kahit na you're there, that you're also giving opportunities back here. So if you have like if you're part of a research group. You tell you know your your colleagues that there's a research group opening, you know um, there is a possibility for for Ateneo, for Lyceum, for for La Salle, and all of these universities to be a part of it. Ganun naman. so share lang ng share, di ba? While you're there, you, you share also opportunities. Para naman hindi na, hindi na masad ang shed. <laughs> so bring <laughs> oh via internet virtual. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that's a very good point. So, so um, that's also a fear, no? Na baka kuming kasi magagaling kain lahat. Baka by in the next four years, wala na magatens sa PSCN kasi. <laughs> Tapos magikasalalan ko pa, no? 
as well, no? With, 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 like, with the Erasmus. Uh, marami sa Erasmus, bumabalik talaga. Pero one of our, our, our uh, challenges, pambalik namin dito, di na kami pinapansin. <laughs> It's totoo yun. Kasi, uh, our program is not on the list. So, parang, hindi, you don't tick the box, di ba? So, parang, ay, medyo, ano. So, you get hired by international organizations. But, the idea, well, at least for me, was for me to join government. So, pero pag pupunta ka ng government, eh, syempre, uh, nakaset na lahat eh. So, parang, you're too foreign. You're too foreign to be local, but you're too local to be foreign. Parang ganon. So, it's it's difficult to find the balance. So, that that's something that we discuss a lot as well, especially with the Erasmus Mundus Scholars pagbalik dito. Na yun, yun. Too local to be foreign, too foreign to be local. So, uh, but eventually, you find them on your footing. It just takes a while. Okay. Uh, my 15 minutes pa ako, ano pa? You, you mentioned the uh, Japan in the map. Yes. Uh, the, of course, uh, there's a study by JICA here in the Philippines. Um, I don't know if uh, like transport, for example, that's already mentioned about transport. Yes. How about uh, if your proposal would be in duplication Um, depends on the on the proposal, no? Because if the proposal naman, uh, addresses a specific issue that is being presented as still a con you know that is a consistent issue that has not been addressed, I don't think it's so long. Naman is it like all that the proposal is yours or that is your institution? Because nobody naman has the monopoly of knowledge. So parang kung hindi naman na address, di ba? Eh, hindi kaya still propose it. Because especially if there's an open call, so they're still asking for more information about it. I guess. So, basta sa'yo lang, di ba, or sa institution mo, I don't think there's a problem with that. Yeah. Okay na. Okay, just reminder ha, by the time that you go home today, you should be able to, you should have your, already your registration portal. Pwede ba natin pa-check doon? <laughs> uh, please do so. Please uh, do your participant for as an individual uh, researcher. And then, of course, you have to check with your institutions if you are if you are able to do so in behalf of your institutions. But at the very least, you do it on your on your own. Uh, and also, uh, try to try to connect with those who are already here, who have who actually has experience when, when it comes to finding the grants. And again, I don't want to to confuse. The Horizon 2020 is a is a, a, especially those that address societal challenges is an institutional grant. The Marie Curie is is an individual researcher's grant. So when it comes to individual research, you actually you can propose on your own. So right now, if you're ready and willing, you know you can do it right now. There are a lot of open calls. You can. This site has the one that I showed you has a lot of open calls, especially on institutions, but. Please also take a look at Euraccess ASEAN. They also have a Facebook page. If you put Euraccess ASEAN Facebook page, they're very, they're very you know, religious <laughs> when it comes to posting new things. So, and it's, it's really helpful. And we were talking a, 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 while about, a while ago about networking events. They also, um, uh, they sponsor networking events as well. So I think there's one, uh, but it's not in the Philippines, it's in Singapore. And, and the thing is, um, that's why it's, it, PASCN is key because once um, Europe sh uh, has can see that there is really like a strong, you know, research community, then they keep on sending experts. So that is why most of the workshops they're done in um, Thailand, they're done in Vietnam because they know they will always get the number. So um, we're trying to change that. We we did already too, and they were very happy with the result. If we keep on showing them that there is a network, then they will keep on sending also information, and they will keep on doing workshops that are that are for us. So it's it's very important that we share as well what we're doing, you know, and and you do it through the network so that we can show numbers. It's always it's always good to show numbers. Okay, so thank you very much. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> is the rice uh, evaluation uh, for both? 
Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah I forgot to talk about that. The rice is really institution because we're going to exchange it. But uh, there's funding available for you to go there, and there's funding for somebody to come here. So you don't need to spend for the person coming here. One more? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, my question is very short. Like, yes. I just want to know about the time period, like uh, how much like, it takes to approve one of the uh, proposal. If you will submit a proposal, how much yes. the time period it takes? Yeah, the time period after you submit, it takes more or less uh, maximum, they say, maximum five months for you to get the, the, the response. And then uh, to sign really the grant agreement from the, from the time that you submit your uh, proposal, it's eight months. So give or take a year. Yes. Yes, but it's much easier uh, if you have a European partner because they're just asked for, from the information for you. So if you handle a work package, it's just really the utilization of your participation in a specific work package, but all of the, the financial aspects, they will guide you through the process. But there's also a support. The one that I showed you, you can ask for information and the support. And also there are, there's also the Marie Curie National Contact Points. These are part of the alumni network that um, basically their goal in life is to make sure that it's easy for you to, to apply for proposals in Europe. So you can ask them as well. Like Corina, who, had, who was the speaker um, in UPPGC, Bella, has her email. You can also ask her. So she's, she's, she's very happy when people ask her about these things as well. Okay. Yes, my dalawa Uh, previously, naka received ka ng scholarship from the EU then. So I think, kama lang. It's okay. I mean, I did an Erasmus first and then I did the Marie Curie. It's okay. It's fine. Pero, not in the same country. Kasi, you remember the mobility rule? So if you've stayed more than 12 months in, in a specific country, you can't go back there anymore. You have to go more somewhere than, else. More than 12 months. Oh, well, pero huwag pilitin kasi baka matechnical ka. Baka kunyari sabihin mo, sige, ay, 10 months pa naman ako sa Spain eh. So, pwede pa ako sa Spain. Wag, kasi if it's going to be a choice between you and the other, and they have to find something to eliminate someone, that could be used against you. So, wag. Okay. Okay. Overstaying. <laughs> One more? Okay na? Okay, so I hope that you submit proposals. I hope that this was helpful. Um, PASCM has my email, so if I can help you with anything, please let me know. Thank you very much.